वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम अंशु वॉल्टर योर साइंस टीचर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ साइंस दैट इज न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट्स यू माइट हैव स्टडीड इन द प्रीवियस क्लास अबाउट फूड एंड इट्स फंक्शन वॉट इज फूड फूड इज अ बेसिक रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर अस विच हेल्प्स इन वेरियस वेज फूड हेल्प्स for proper growth of body to repair the damaged parts of body and most important food gives us energy to perform the various life processes so we can say that food is the major source of energy for us we eat various types of nutrients in food what are these nutrients like carbohydrates proteins vitamins minerals roughage water etc these all help in the proper growth of our body now today we'll discuss about nutrition the word nutrition in hindi it is also known as poshan this word nutrition means the process of taking in food and the proper utilization of this food by the whole body nutrition woh prakriya hai jisme hum bhojan lete hain aur hamare sharir ke dwara उस भोजन का समुचित उपयोग किया जाता है इन लिविंग बींग्स ऑल द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम प्रेजेंट ऑन द अर्थ इन लिविंग बींग्स देर आर टू मोड्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन विच वी हैव टू स्टडी इन दिस चैप्टर द फर्स्ट मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन इज ऑटोट्रॉफिक न्यूट्रिशन एंड सेकेंड मोड्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन इज हेट्रोट्रॉफिक न्यूट्रिशन टूडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ऑटोट्रॉफिक न्यूट्रिशन ऑटो वर्ड मीन्स सेल्फ एंड ट्रॉफिक मीन्स फीडिंग इट मीन्स सेल्फ फीडिंग प्रोसेस ऑटो ट्रॉफिक न्यूट्रिशन मीन्स द न्यूट्रिशन द मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन इन विच ग्रीन प्लांट्स मेक देर ओन फूड बाय देम सेल्स विद द प्रोसेस ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस नाउ फोटोसिंथेसिस अ प्रोसेस इन विच ग्रीन प्लांट्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड फ्रॉम एयर वॉटर एंड मिनरल्स फ्रॉम रूट्स they take the solar energy through chlorophyll this all raw materials together makes the food this process is called photosynthesis that is why green plants are also known as autotrophs because they can make their own food by themselves this process this mode of nutrition in which plants green plants prepare their own food by themselves are called autotrophic nutrition now the young stems and the green leaves green parts of the plants have a green structure called chloroplasts which is green and they contain a green pigment chlorophyll you might have learned you might have studied you might have heard about the chlorophyll it traps the solar energy and helps to prepare food by leaves it traps the solar energy and by using this solar energy in the green plants in the green leaves a very important chemical reaction takes place in which carbon dioxide and water totally converts into glucose food and oxygen gas is released this is a very important chemical reaction of photosynthesis just have a look once again co2 which we get from air water which is absorbed by the roots of the plants through root hairs and chlorophyll already present in the leaves traps the solar energy and in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight carbon dioxide and water together combines to make the glucose glucose is the simplest carbohydrate it is a food prepared by the leaves and oxygen obviously the oxygen gas is also released this is called photosynthesis now what is the importance photosynthesis is one of the very important process for us how it is very important this photosynthesis maintains a balance between oxygen and co2 gas this photosynthesis process in which co2 is utilized and oxygen is released out so the plants take co2 and in return they give out oxygen gas which is used by human beings and animals in this way through this photosynthesis process we can say that oxygen and co2 balance is maintained 
and this is very important process for living world on the earth so in this way we are going to end our today's topic now let's have re recapitulation of the topics once again nutrition a process of taking in food and its proper utilization by body the modes of nutrition two modes of nutrition autotrophic and heterotrophic autotrophic nutrition the process of nutrition the mode of nutrition in which living organisms green plants prepare their own foods by themselves with the help of raw materials carbon dioxide which is obtained by the air through stomata now stomata stomata is the tiny pores present on the underside surface of the leaves again the second raw material water minerals absorbed by the roots through the soil chlorophyll present in the leaves it traps the solar energy and by using this sunlight a very important chemical reaction takes place in the green leaves green plants that is co2 plus water in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight glucose is prepared and the oxygen gas is released here glucose is the very very important food product it is a food prepared by plants glucose now photosynthesis has some importance photosynthesis maintains a balance of oxygen and co2 in atmosphere this way today we are ending the topic have a nice day thank you